kidneys and the adrenal glands in the filtration of the kidney of, of the lymph system and I have to admit you know I created a lot of herbs and I think a lot of you know I call my company God's herbs that's because I appreciate who made them <laughs> you know I tell you but uh, I always had a voice you know I'm a chemist and and I first got into this I used to use chemistry blood urine saliva hair you know play with your body's chemistry and uh, after you look at enough labs and understand in chemistry that we can't take chemistry and alter it we can't isolate without creating antagonistic chemistry all chemistry is bonded magnetically in every other way and, and in its proper ratios to each other you can't go disturb that and open up these magnetic bonds that creates a uh, uh, bonding of chemistry that creates what they call free radicals but we keep playing in those fields for no reason maybe we need the jobs I don't know but it's a wrong kind of work because we're hurting each other doing that health is so much simpler than that so detoxification again is a scientific process understanding that anionic and cationic is a acid or an alkaline or base experience it's that simple these fluids are there to feed and clean the cells but when these fluids don't then it starts to break down the cells and that's when you start having functional problems if you're if you're if it's in the uh, the thyroid then you might not get uh, T4 you might not get uh, calcitonin or parathormone in the parathyroid if it's the adrenals it could be cortisol it could be epinephrine uh, it doesn't matter where or what it is it doesn't matter the symptom because that's just the symptom of a cell not performing for you no matter what tissue it is whether it's pancreatic or, 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 or uh, uh, hepatitis or any type of hepatic tissue. It doesn't matter where. Whatever you, whenever you suppress the function of a cell, it doesn't perform properly. Whenever you suppress your mind, you get a wake up someday and you maybe drank too much one night or smoked too much, who knows what, you know. Uh, maybe you ate uh, a pizza or something real bad and you just wake up and you're not feeling good and you have a little headache and everything. You don't function well. Well, imagine selves and you parents. I've, I've made this analogy many times of, of babies where the diapers have stayed on too long and the heavy rash that you see burning the bottom. This is all acids and this is a very serious issue because when you're looking in the world of cancer, everybody's considering it. I'm amazed at the people that come in here and most people come in here obviously have cancer. We have 90% of our clientele probably is cancer. Uh, even though we don't treat it, our job is to make the people healthy. And that's what you, you don't get lost in the treatment of diseases because that takes you down a road that doesn't exist. Because it's like, and I'm amazed that people don't understand what cancer is yet. And yet CNN ran a special here years ago, went to a chemist, asked a chemist what causes cancer, and he said, well, that's easy to understand. Certain, certain things damage cells, and then cells mutate this damage. And then they, the interviewer said, well, what, what kind of things damage cells? And he said, and the chemist said, well, acids, of course. You know, this was some chemist. I don't know who he was, but smart guy. I mean, if, if we don't know that by now, what are we doing, you know? Well, again, American Cancer Society, John Rockefeller Jr., isn't it? And then the American Medical Profession, John Rockefeller. I mentioned the world bankers before and everything. I, I find this I find this thing got so out of control in the World Health Organization. These people are lunatics. And, and we the people have to grab our lives back before and it's getting real late. You know, the Codex thing, Canada is fighting that. That 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 I can't believe Germany and Sweden, all these uh, European countries signed up for that. You know, and it limits the ability of, of the, the folk the people out there who, who actually own the world while they're here, you know, uh, they, the government's only there to help. They, they make the governments to help them. Uh, it would suppress their ability to get supplements. You know, the power and control is amazing. And so one has to be careful not to have that in their own lives. You have to watch yourself and not let the ego get so big and, and extended because really uh, karma is a, a, a nasty thing sometimes. And there's a lot of souls here with a lot of bad karma coming. And uh, uh, I prefer not to go that road. Thank you. So detoxification, an incredible art. Because when you start getting the body alkaline, now you see that I spent a lot of years in emergency rooms 
And when you come into the emergency room, it's always acidosis, whether it's dietary related or trauma. And we always hang a bag of normal saline, which is an alkaline solution. In other words, when you're acidic, you have to go to the other side of chemistry. That's the only remedy you have. You see that only in the ER. You only see it in certain places. The rest of allopathic uses acids. Look, look at uh, 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 dialysis, a very toxic procedure. People go in peeing, come out not peeing. I mean, it, uh, acid strip the blood. I mean, this is a very toxic procedure on people and does nothing to help the lymph system. It just cleans the blood. So uh, you have to regenerate the kidneys. And there's nothing you can't regenerate in an alkaline medium. But it doesn't make sense that if acids break things down, if they're corrosive, that you would have to remove the acid medium that's breaking down your cells. If it's your bones, why would your bones break down? Not in an alkaline medium. Your blood doesn't break you down. Like I said, it'll kill you before it breaks you down. It's always an acid medium that breaks you down. So you've got to remove that acid medium before you can get regeneration. If you've got a tumor up here on the chest wall, you've got to open up this lymph bed of lymph nodes and get this kidney filtering this whole site before this is going to go anywhere. And you've got to remove these acids before you see a remedy at the other side of that. Even if you're on raw, we have a lot of people on raw foods come in here still having major problems because it only takes you so far. The art of detoxification is a fasting and a fruit experience, not a vegetable experience. All these Gabriel Cousins and all these people out there are telling people against fruit. And the problem with it is they're coming to me as more advanced than ever before. Their cancers have spread because they've been trying to do it with vegetable matter. Nowhere in history did they use vegetable matter for detoxification. Sorry, guys. Green drinks, okay. Power up, build muscles, okay. But not for detoxification. You're not trying to build up in it and detoxify at the same time. Don't even go there. Or you'll you'll get a plateau and won't go anywhere with that. Look at look at Arnold Eretz material. Look at look go way back into the fruitarians, uh, um, uh, Clements and uh, Professor Hotima, and go back. You'll see a lot of this. Even medical doctors were fruitarian thinkers. And it, it doesn't mean you have to live as a fruitarian. That might be a very difficult thing in today's world with a lack of quality of fruits and, uh, and just the consciousness of people can't handle this high level of understanding of life. It, uh, being a fruitarian is a very powerful existence. Uh, I was one for many years and had to come off of it myself, too powerful. But if you want to get well, if you want to get tumors out of your body, you want to regenerate tissue, you've got to move lymph. And if you want to move lymph, you can only do it with strong astringent fruits. So the sub-acid category of fruits, which is your grapes and your apples and your mangoes and your, your peaches, that's the uh, great group to move it with. You're all probably familiar with the master cleanser, Stanley Burles, although lemon fasting, juice fasting was, was way beyond before him. Lemon juice, very, very powerful astringent. Notice how it makes you pucker. So very powerful detoxifier, fresh oranges, fresh grapefruits, very powerful. They have an alkalizing effect. Uh, pineapple would be good if you could pick it ripe off a plant. If not, it becomes acidic. Certain things are acidic. But these foods are very powerful. Watermelon's a great detoxifier, great. Especially if you have type 1, you're detoxifying, you have high ketones, put yourself on a little watermelon fast. We had a mother with a young girl, type 1, and she had our ketones went up.